Welcome to the KR Films Entertainment Channel. The movie is set in the year 2061. The sun is going through a rapidly deteriorating phase and will soon turn into a red giant that threatens to engulf the Earth's orbit within 100 years and consequently destroy the blue planet in order to survive the destruction of Earth. Human society has gone through a drastic change putting their differences aside or all the countries of the globe have been merged to form the United Earth Government or the UAG since then the UEG is initiated a daring project known as the Wandering Earth Project the plan is to drive the earth to its new home the Alpha Centauri which is a gravitationally bound system of stars and planets much like the solar system it is for pi 0.37 light years from the sun the earth is predicted to take around 20 years to complete her journey to this new solar system moreover the project has deployed 12000 enormous fusion powered earth engines built across the northern hemisphere it has also employed torque engines along the equator to slowly propel the entirety of planet earth out of The original orbit who focused still following oh, you are damn you're smarter than i am at the start of the movie a chinese astronaut him to leave back yang oversees the gravitational slingshot maneuver of earth which uses the gravity of jupiter to assist propulsion after completing his job pick yang leaves for his next mission to the navigation platform and international space station leaving his young son luke key and foster daughter hand vovo aboard the navigation views job is to help navigate the earth along its interstellar journey several years pass by and much of the human population has died out due to the multiple violent natural disasters this includes gigantic tsunami is that Occur after Earth's rotation is brought to a halt. Moreover, as the planet distances from the sun, most of the surface becomes frozen solid. As a result, the remaining humans are forced to live in vast underground cities built adjacent to and under two several Earth engines. Seventeen years later, it is the Chinese New Year of 2078, and Pei Yangan. His colleagues are set to return to Earth after finishing their work at the International Space Station. Elsewhere, Park Yang's son Luke he has now grown into an adult. He works as a machinist of heavy trucks. Most remaining humans who now live underground rarely get a chance to see life on the surface of the Earth, including Liu Qi. He's always wanted to go on a ride on Tai. Earth's surface but it's nearly impossible due to the catastrophic climate however one day he decides to fulfill his dream one way or another he illegally obtained two thermal suits and fake it is the hook smuggle some special instant inflatable bubble capsules to a couple of local thugs in exchange for the goods so he can see life on the surface himself He also brings his little sister Hondo to go along for helping him steal a truck's key and clearance pass of their grandpa Ha Jung. It turns out Yang works as a driver for the Wandering Earth project. Later, when the Yuki and his sister reach the surface, they're awed by the huge structure called Earth Engine, which is only one of the twelve thousand scattered across. Ask the Earth the then illegally requisition Haji Egg's heavy transport vehicle and drive around. At first, Liu Qi, being a novice driver, drives very clumsily and almost causes an accident. But soon he gets the hang of it and drives with confidence. However, the brother sister Du are soon stopped at a nearby checkpoint and thrown into jail. Their grandpa hands Yang. learns about the development and arrives to rescue them he tries to bribe the jail ward and to free his grandchildren that ends up getting thrown into the same cellars as them meanwhile on board the space station pak yang is getting ready to return to earth it is his final shift and it's exactly the same day the earth has supposed to glide past jupiter and accelerate to achieve the necessary speed of flying out Of the solar system however things don't go as planned and as earth approaches jupiter to make use of gravity assist unexpectedly jupiter's gravity becomes irregular the spike and tidal force causes devastating earthquakes on earth which disables many earth engines across the globe as a result of this the underground cities are crushed while others are drowned by Lava killing hundreds in the process to make matters worse Jupiter starts exerting tremendous levels of gravitational force on Earth this means that the two planets will collide very soon amid the chaos Liu Qi his sister and Hard Yang managed to escape the prison with a fellow inmate named Tim Tams name is by far the easiest to say so far after Getting out Jung finds his heavy truck takes his grandchildren and Tim in and starts driving like a pro he avoids large buildings rocks and other structures on the way James plan is to take everyone to another underground city as well as the navigation platform as on its way to earth its main computer i the mos wants everyone that the space station will soon 
Go into low energy mode hands all of them should go into hibernation however Pak Yang who is adamant on meeting his family requests for some time and calls his father Hunt Jang on the call he learns about their imprisonment and the subsequent earthquakes he also finds out that his family is in a track so he directs them to the nearest bunker after that he goes to his quarters and prepare. As to hibernate on the other hand Hans Yang's truck is intercepted by a rescue team of elite Chinese soldiers who were on an emergency mission led by Captain Wang Wei they demand the truck to transport a precious cargo called lighter corps which can allegedly be used to ignite the earth engines they want to use the lighter core to restart the O1 earth engine in Hang's house. Well as expected Hundred Yang is not happy about the order but he is forced to oblige soon Pak Yang learns about the new development and requests Wang Li let his family go into a bunker however the latter replies that he can only let them go after Ha Jung helps them complete their mission left with no choice on Jung drives them to Shanghai where a huge tremor her. Turn open a long gap showing the old city covered by ice as the truck goes into the gap on Yang tells stories about his memories in the city a flashback shows thousands of people frozen solid in the ice and it's revealed that the Yuki sister was among the few survivors and she was adopted by her jug as the old man continues narrating the story so. Suddenly a second tremor hit and cliffs on both side of the gap start collapsing everyone abandons their vehicles and rushes to the tallest building of Shanghai sadly the devastation has only just begun for the group as they climb through the building everything starts moving violently they tried getting to a safe location with the lighter core but things do not go as planned it Because of the heavy tremors the team loses a soldier whereas 100 yang is isolated on a separate floor when the old man realizes that his oxygen is running out he opens his helmet and freezes himself to death in the next scene liu qi confronts wang lei and blamed him for his grandfather's death in a fit of rage he also attacks the captain but gets easily over Powered after the scuffle the Uk declares that he will no longer be a part of the mission left with no choice the elite team carries the lighter core themselves and marches towards the earth engine and hang jo while yoki his sister and ten start heading back home i loved him elsewhere aboard the space station just after the hibernation program begins pay Yang learns from Moss that his family is missing and that the earth has plunged into a new round of chaos the i also asserts that the earth is beyond saving so they are not heading there anymore now moss has prioritized a new mission rather than assisting earth the station is planning to serve as an interstellar arc to seed a new planet with earth's biosphere a plan to send a selected bunch of people along with some crops and other things to the new planet so that earth's legacy can live on forever hearing this pick yang becomes enraged and refuses to give up on earth he then tries to break out of the forest hibernation but just then moss wakes up the other members of the team to rectify the situation but surprisingly a russian Teammate Makarov decides to help Pick Yang the two of them below open a hatch closest and fly out into the vacuum to reach the control center Makarov sacrifices himself and pushes Pak Yang towards a moving arm fortunately the plan works and Pak Yang gets hold of the control center back on earth Yuki and his companions find it crashed plane With a truck intact inside they meet the sole survivor Vi who is a crazy genius Yi Yi reveal Yi 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 reveals to have a can't say the same Yi he reveals to them that Jupiter's gravity is sucking earth's atmosphere to such a degree that the air is too thin even to fly a plane he also tells the group that there may still be hope for people on earth but for that they need to rescue a gigantic talk engine in Sulawesi at the equator hearing this the uk get riled up but at first he decides to save the earth engine and hang jo in the space station peak yang gets into the computer room and tries to override moss but the i informed him that it is merely carrying out orders This authorized by the United Earth government meanwhile outside of Hangzhou the elite team finds out that the whole city is lost to the lava the earth engine there is damaged beyond repair soon another man dies in the mission and with this the team starts contemplating on whether to continue the mission or not in frustration a female soldier shoot at the lighter core and breaks at prom During the captain to almost kill her for it just then leave he and his group show up in the truck and Leo Ki tells the elite team about the talk engine at Sulawesi this intrigues Wang Wei and he agrees to help the Yu he and his group in their mission to Sulawesi when they almost reach Sulawesi they learn that some other teams had successfully repaired the engines before them however 
For the combined thrust of the engines is no longer able to divert the trajectory with Earth approaching Jupiter's Roche limit in the space station after Mars explains to Pik Yang that all rescue missions are useless it opens a channel to Earth and broadcasts to everyone that they have only 7 days until the Earth gets torn apart hearing the bad news view he becomes Davis. Stated and reveals that they actually have only one day to live because Jupiter is sucking their air at a tremendous rate later as a heartbroken Luki is staring at the massive planet an idea suddenly strikes his mind since Jupiter is composed of 90% hydrogen and it has been sucking a lot of oxygen from Earth lately a tiny spark can ignite the entire the net with the impact from the ignition earth can be blown away to a safe distance Leoki immediately shares his plan with the genius Ye and surprisingly the ladder like said soon they hack the Sulawesi engine and concentrate its power to fire a plasma beam tall enough to ignite Jupiter the group overcomes various challenges and are able to reconfigure the engine too. Area of the plan but are unable to push the firing pin of the engine to ignite it left with no options the captain Wang Lei calls the nearby rescue workers to help her I thought he was going to sacrifice himself but everyone ignores him that's deserved just then lucky sister do I do or realizes that she can make an emergency call to the space station and ask for her father's help she contacts Pak Yang and briefs him about the plan but Moss reveals that some Israeli scientists already had this idea and the chance of success is zero nevertheless Pak Yang still calls the UEG and pleads for authorization the UEG refuses to send him back up but let's do our job broadcast her message to the remaining rescue. Powers with this opportunity too little girl delivers an emotional speech which warms the hearts of people all across the world probably not as much as that lava did though and in no time several rescuers arrive at the scene and start helping the group to push the giant pen in the next scene look he finally gets the machine on stock now everything is ready except the launch pro. Graham the main technician he is badly injured by falling rocks but he somehow manages to put the right cable in the socket at last the program finally gets uploaded the torque engine shoots a straight red light toward the giant I have Jupiter but the power cannot reach the ignition area it is shot by a mere 5000 km Pik Yang who is also witnessing all of the this suddenly remembers that his space station has 30,000 tons of fuel which should generate 5,000 kilometers of flame if ignited he explains the plant moss but the eye declines and instead locks the system masses a deck bag enraged paid yang burns the main computer and takes charge of the space station he then steers to a Jupiter at a high. Speed and collides in no time Jupiter's atmosphere starts burning and Earth is pushed away by the impact but sadly the impact also releases giant impact waves which start ravaging Earth amidst the chaos the Uk finds his sister with Tim just then the impact wave hits and since everyone flying no not them can hold. Onto a pipe but he sees his sister dropping down so he falls towards her in the air he heroically catches her and deploys an instant bubble capsule which saves both of their lives however the fall breaks loose helmet and he slowly passes out before he closes his eyes he sees that the earth survived the ordeal the movie then fast forward to 3. Two years in the future where Luki has become a driver and has earned everyone's respect while have a goddamn hope so moreover the engines have resumed working and humanity is heading in the right direction to restore its past glory.